Listing the greatest man-made wonders in the world is a significant task, as it encompasses a wide range of historical periods, cultures and types of structures. Number 31, Palace of Versailles. The Palace of Versailles, located in the Ile-de-France region of France, is a monumental architectural complex that once served as the royal residence and centre of government for the Kingdom of France. Originally a hunting lodge built by Louis VIII, his successor Louis XIV expanded it into one of the largest palaces in the world, symbolising the absolute power of the French monarchy. Versailles is renowned for its opulent architecture, lavish interiors and extensive gardens designed by André Lenotre. The palace's Hall of Mirrors, the King's Grand Apartments, the Museum of the History of France and the more intimate Petit Trianon and Hameau de la Reine are particularly famous. Each room and garden exudes the grandeur and excess of the French Ancien Regime. The signing of the Treaty of Versailles in the Hall of Mirrors in 1919, which ended World War I, is among the historical events that took place within its walls. Now a UNESCO World Heritage Site, the Palace of Versailles attracts millions of visitors annually, drawn to its beauty and significance as a symbol of the power and artistry of France's past. Number 32, Terracotta Army. The Terracotta Army is a vast collection of terracotta sculptures depicting the armies of King Shi Huang, the first emperor of China. This incredible archaeological discovery was made in 1947 by local farmers in Lingtong District, Xi'an, Shaanxi Province. It is part of a much larger necropolis, constructed as a form of funerary art to accompany the emperor in the afterlife and to protect him in his journey. The army consists of over 8,000 soldiers, 130 chariots with 520 horses and 150 cavalry horses, each one with distinct expressions and postures, signifying the craftsmanship and labour that went into their creation. The figures were painted before being placed in the tomb, but much of the colouring has faded or flaked off. The Terracotta Army has provided immense insight into China's history and the military practices, art and hierarchies of the time. It is considered one of the greatest archaeological sites in the world and a testament to the grandeur of the Xin Dynasty, drawing tourists and historians alike. Number 33, Sagrada Familia. La Sagrada Familia, a large unfinished Roman Catholic basilica in Barcelona, Spain, is the magnum opus of architect Antoni Gaudi. Construction of this architectural masterpiece began in 1882, with Gaudi becoming involved a year later and transforming the project with his architectural and engineering style, combining Gothic and curvilinear Art Nouveau forms. Gaudi devoted the last years of his life to the project, and at the time of his death in 1926, less than a quarter of the project was complete. The Sagrada Familia's construction progressed slowly as it relied on private donations and was interrupted by the Spanish Civil War, only to resume intermittent progress in the 1950s. Today the church is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, famous for its spires, intricate facades and the extensive symbolism embedded in its design. It remains under construction with completion targeted for 2026, the century of Gaudi's death. La Sagrada Familia continues to be a testament to faith art and the enduring influence of Gaudi's vision. Number 34, Kremlin. The Kremlin, located in the heart of Moscow, is a fortified complex that includes five palaces, four cathedrals and the enclosing Kremlin wall with Kremlin towers. In Russia, Kremlin means fortress inside a city and it is the best known of the Kremlins. For centuries, it has been the political and symbolic centre of Russian state power. Constructed between the 14th and 17th centuries, the Moscow Kremlin stands as a testament to Russian architecture and history. It was the residence of the Great Prince and also a religious centre. Under Ivan III, the Kremlin was renovated and expanded, reflecting Moscow's growing power. The iconic Spuska Tower, with its ruby star added during the Soviet era, overlooks Red Square and serves as the main entrance to the Kremlin. The complex now serves as the official residence of the President of the Russian Federation. Its majestic churches, grand palaces and impressive administrative buildings have witnessed some of the most pivotal events in Russian history and are a UNESCO World Heritage Site, attracting tourists worldwide. Number 35, Temple of Heaven. 
The Temple of Heaven in Beijing, China, is a complex of religious buildings situated in the southeastern part of central Beijing. Constructed from 1406 to 1420, during the reign of the Yongle Emperor, who also oversaw the creation of the Forbidden City, this temple was used by emperors of the Ming and Xing dynasties for annual ceremonies of prayer to heaven for a good harvest. The Temple of Heaven is a masterpiece of architecture and landscape design. It covers an area of 2.73 kilometers and contains three main structures. The Hall of Prayer for Good Harvest, the Imperial Vault of Heaven, and the Circular Mound Altar. These buildings are prime examples of Imperial Chinese architectural techniques, with the Hall of Prayer featuring a triple gabled circular building, 36 meters in diameter and 38 meters tall, built without a single nail. This UNESCO World Heritage Site symbolises the relationship between Earth and Heaven, the human world and God's world, which stands at the heart of Chinese cosmology. Its park is filled with people practising Tai Chi, playing traditional music and engaging in other cultural activities, making it not only a tourist attraction but also a social hub for locals. Number 36, Mount Rushmore. Mount Rushmore National Memorial is a monumental granite sculpture located in the Black Hills region of South Dakota, USA. Carved into the granite face of Mount Rushmore are the 60 foot high heads of four United States presidents, George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Theodore Roosevelt and Abraham Lincoln. These presidents were chosen to represent the nation's birth, growth, development and preservation respectively. The concept for Mount Rushmore was originally conceived by historian Doan Robinson to promote tourism in the region. Sculptor Gutzen Borglum designed the sculpture and oversaw its execution from 1927 to 1941 with the help of his son, Lincoln Borglum. The project was funded by the federal government and employed hundreds of workers. It became a symbol of American history and ingenuity. Today, Mount Rushmore is a symbol of American democracy and attracts over 2 million visitors annually. It stands not only as a work of art, but also a tribute to the enduring legacy of the leaders it depicts and the history of the United States. Number 37, Patala Palace. The Patala Palace, perched atop Marpori Hill in Lhasa, Tibet, is an architectural wonder and a symbol of Tibetan Buddhism. It served as the winter residence of the Dalai Lamas from the 7th century until the 14th Dalai Lama's exile in 1959. The palace's name, Patala, is derived from Mount Patalika, the mythical abode of the Bodhisattva Avalokiteshvara, to whom the Dalai Lamas are believed to be connected. Constructed in 1645 during the reign of the 5th Dalai Lama, this grandiose structure combines palatial and ecclesiastical architecture while the White Palace serving as the living quarters of the Dalai Lama and the Red Palace dedicated to religious study and prayer. It stands 13 storeys high and contains over 1,000 rooms, including chapels, shrines and the tomb of past Dalai Lamas. A UNESCO World Heritage Site, the Patala Palace is admired for its intricate murals, beautiful statues and vast collection of Buddhist texts. It is a sacred site for pilgrimage and a monument to the rich cultural heritage of Tibet. Number 38, Great Zimbabwe. Great Zimbabwe is a medieval city in the southeastern hills of Zimbabwe near Lake Muterakwe and the town of Masvingo. It was the capital of the Kingdom of Zimbabwe during the country's late Iron Age. Constructed from the 11th to the 15th centuries, Great Zimbabwe served as a royal palace for the Zimbabwean monarch and was an important trade center, believed to have been linked to long distance trading routes with the Swahili coast. The site is renowned for its impressive stone structures which cover an area of 722 hectares. The most prominent of these is the Great Enclosure, which features walls up to 11 metres high and extends approximately 250 metres, making it the largest ancient structure south of the Sahara Desert. Built without mortar using precisely hewn granite stones, these structures showcase the skill and artistry of the Shona people. Great Zimbabwe has been a source of fascination and speculation over the centuries, giving the modern state its name and featured on the national flag. It stands as a cultural and historical symbol, offering insight into the region's pre-colonial history and architecture. Great Zimbabwe is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, acknowledged for its significance in African architecture and its testament to the Bantu civilization of Shanoa. Number 39, Timbuktu. 
Timbuktu, once an economic and intellectual hub, is located in the West African nation of Mali, near the Niger River. The city was found in the 5th century and flourished in the 15th and 16th centuries as a centre for trade of salt, gold, ivory and slaves. It became a nexus of Islamic scholarship under the patronage of the Mali Empire and later under the Askia dynasty. The city is renowned for its three great mosques, Jingwerebe, Sankor and Sidi Yaya, which were also centres of learning, part of the University of Timbuktu. These monuments, constructed from mud brick, are masterpieces of the Sudano-Sahelian architectural style, reflecting Timbuktu's historical importance and its role in the spread of Islam throughout Africa. Timbuktu is also famous for its ancient manuscripts, with collections containing thousands of texts that cover a vast array of knowledge from theology to astronomy. Despite environmental threats and social upheavals, Timbuktu remains a site of historical and cultural importance, symbolising the rich history of African civilizations and Islamic scholarship. Number 40. Empire State Building The Empire State Building, an iconic skyscraper, defines the New York City skyline, rising to a total of 1,454 feet, including its antenna. It was the world's tallest building upon completion in 1931, until the World Trade Center took the title in 1970. Designed in the distinct Art Deco style by Shreve, Lamb and Harmon, the Empire State Building has 102 floors and stood as a symbol of American industrial might during the Great Depression. The building was constructed in just over a year, a testament to the efficiency of early 20th century American construction techniques. It's been featured in numerous films and cultural references, perhaps most famously in King Kong. Beyond its architectural grandeur, the Empire State Building has been a pioneer in environmental sustainability among historical buildings, undergoing extensive retrofitting to reduce energy usage. Its observation decks on the 86th and 102nd floors offer panoramic views of New York City and attract millions of visitors from around the globe annually. The Empire State Building remains not only an office building but also a cultural landmark and a symbol of New York City's and America's persistent ambition. And that wraps up 10 more of the greatest man-made wonders of the world. Do you agree with the places we chose? Subscribe for more videos.